Welcome ulit sa ating channel mga katulay sa tagumpay. Ang video ito ay tungkol naman sa information technology na isang subtest para sa PAFGCT o Philippine Air Force General Classification Test. Ito ay isa pang klase ng exam na kailangan mong maipasa para makapag-apply ka sa Philippine Air Force. Di ko sure kung lalabas ang mga items na ito sa mismong exam, pero reviewin na lang din natin para dagdag kaalaman na rin, at kung sakaling lumabas ay may advantage tayo. Kung di mo pa napapanood ang mga nauna pa nating mga video ay huwag mag-alala dahil nasa taas lang ng video ito ang link para doon. Hali kayo at simulan na natin ang pagre-review. 1. What technology helps the Philippine Air Force gather and analyze data from various sources to enhance decision-making processes? A. 5G technology BAI and machine learning C. Blockchain D. Internet of Things, IoT, E. Cloud Computing Correct Answer, BAI and Machine Learning Explanation AI and machine learning can assist in processing and analyzing large amounts of data, aiding in the Philippine Air Force's decision-making processes. 2. Which cybersecurity measure does the Philippine Air Force employ to protect its sensitive information? A. Encryption B. Multi-factor authentication C. Penetration testing D. Data loss prevention E. Intrusion detection systems Correct answer A. Encryption explanation Encryption secures data by converting it into an unreadable format that can only be deciphered with the appropriate decryption key 3. What type of software allows the Philippine Air Force to manage its aircraft, equipment, and other assets? A. ERP Software B Database Management System C Customer Relationship Management CRM, Software D Project Management Software E Fleet Management Software Correct Answer E Fleet Management Software Explanation Fleet Management Software is used to manage and track assets such as aircraft, vehicles, and equipment efficiently. 4. What is the primary purpose of a Geographical Information System GIS, in the Philippine Air Force? A. Analyzing meteorological data B. Combating cybersecurity threats C. Monitoring airspace traffic D. Assessing the terrain and environmental data E. Managing military personnel records Correct answer D. Assessing the terrain and environmental data Explanation GIS allows for the visual analysis and interpretation of geographical data, helping to assess terrain and environmental factors. 5. Which technology enables the Philippine Air Force to maintain communication between ground personnel and aircraft during missions? A. Satellites B. Radar C. GPS D. Microwave technology E. Radio communications Correct answer. E. Radio communications Explanation. Radio communications are essential for real-time communication between ground personnel and aircraft during missions. 6. What information system in the Philippine Air Force facilitates the integration and coordination of different departments and functions? A. Human Resource Management System, HRMS, B. Enterprise Resource Planning, ERP. C. Supply Chain Management System, SCMS, D. Content Management System, CMS. E. Customer Relationship Management, CRM, Correct Answer, B. Enterprise Resource Planning, ERP. Explanation. ERP systems are designed to integrate and streamline different departments and functions within an organization. 7. Which technology assists the Philippine Air Force in monitoring and controlling the movement of aircraft? A. Litter B. GPS C. Radar D. Ultrasonic Sensors E. Optical Sensors Correct answer. C. Radar Explanation. Radar systems use radio waves to detect and track the movement of objects, including aircraft. 8. Which cybersecurity measure focuses on identifying potential vulnerabilities within the Philippine Air Force's network? A. Intrusion detection systems, IDS, B. Penetration testing. C. Firewalls, D. Antivirus software, E. Multi-factor authentication. Correct answer. B. Penetration testing explanation. 
Penetration testing is a method of identifying and evaluating potential vulnerabilities in a network or system. 9. What technology is essential for the Philippine Air Force's remote sensing capabilities, especially for monitoring large areas of land or sea? A. Drones B. Satellites C. Cameras D. Weather balloons. E. Litter correct answer. B. Satellites explanation. Satellites provide the Philippine Air Force with remote sensing capabilities, enabling the monitoring of large areas of land or sea. 10. What is the primary function of the Philippine Air Force's Customer Relationship Management CRM, system? A. Managing aircraft maintenance B. Monitoring fuel consumption C. Tracking flight schedules D. Maintaining military personnel records E. Managing communication with suppliers Correct answer. E. Managing communication with suppliers. Explanation. CRM systems are used to manage and track communication and relationships with suppliers, partners, and other entities. 11. What technology assists the Philippine Air Force in tracking and managing its supply chain? A. Drones B. I. O. T. Sensors C. R. F. I. D. Technology D. Blockchain E. ERP Systems Correct Answer E. ERP Systems Explanation ERP systems provide functionality for tracking and managing the supply chain, including inventory, procurement, and logistics. 12. Which technology allows the Philippine Air Force to simulate flight environments for training purposes? A. Virtual Reality VR, B. Augmented Reality AR, C. 3D Printing DIOTE Machine Learning Correct Answer a virtual reality VR explanation virtual reality technology allows for the creation of realistic flight simulation environments aiding in training exercises 13 which information system in the Philippine Air Force is designed to manage and track the organization's financial resources a enterprise resource planning ERP B human resource management system HRMS C. Supply Chain Management System, SCMS, D. Accounting Information System, ICE. E. Customer Relationship Management, CRM, Correct Answer, D. Accounting Information System, ICE. Explanation. ICE is a specialized information system designed to manage and track an organization's financial resources, including budgets, expenditures, and revenues. 14. What is the primary purpose of a content management system CMS, in the Philippine Air Force? A. Managing aircraft maintenance B. Tracking flight schedules C. Maintaining military personnel records D. Managing communication with suppliers E. Managing digital content and documents Correct answer E. Managing digital content and documents Explanation CMS systems are used to manage and organize digital content, such as documents, images, and videos. 15. Which technology assists the Philippine Air Force in tracking and analyzing meteorological data for operational planning? A. Satellites B. Weather balloons C. Litter D. Doppler radar E. Thermal imaging correct answer D. Doppler radar Explanation Doppler radar systems are used to track weather patterns and provide accurate meteorological data for operational planning. 16. Which branch of the Philippine Air Force is responsible for its cybersecurity? A. The 950th Communications, Electronics, and Information Systems Group. B. The 954th Cyber Operations Squadron C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B correct answer. C. Both A and B. Explanation. Both the 950th Communications, Electronics, and Information Systems Group and the 954th Cyber Operations Squadron are responsible for cyber security in the Philippine Air Force. 17. What is the ultimate goal of the Philippine Air Force's partnership with PLDT? A to provide free internet access to all military personnel. B. To upgrade the technology used in aircraft C to enhance the skills of the PAF cyber warriors. 
D. To improve physical training programs correct answer. C. To enhance the skills of the PAF cyber warriors. Explanation. The aim of the partnership is to enhance the skills of the PAF cyber warriors in cybersecurity. 18. What is the main focus of the 954th Cyber Operation Squadron? A. Aircraft Maintenance B. Physical Training C. Cybersecurity D. Communication Systems Correct Answer C. Cybersecurity Explanation The 954th Cyber Operation Squadron is primarily focused on cybersecurity. 19. What is the role of information technology in the Philippine Air Force? A. To provide free internet access B. To maintain aircraft C. To improve physical training D. To ensure cybersecurity and enhance operational capabilities Correct answer D. To ensure cybersecurity and enhance operational capabilities Explanation Information technology plays a crucial role in ensuring cybersecurity and enhancing operational capabilities in the Philippine Air Force 20. What is the vision of the Philippine Air Force in terms of information technology? A. To become a globally competitive Air Force B. To become a cyber-resilient Air Force C. To become the leading Air Force in Southeast Asia D. To become the leading provider of free internet access Correct answer. B. To become a cyber-resilient Air Force. Explanation. The vision of the Philippine Air Force in terms of information technology is to become a cyber-resilient Air Force. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood mga katulay sa tagumpay. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, mag-share at mag-subscribe sa ating channel para lagi kayong updated sa mga susunod pa nating mga video. Sana ay may natutunan kayo at nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyo. Good luck at maraming salamat ulit mga katulay sa tagumpay.